Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I've got this Generac 8K generator. It is, I don't know, roughly 15 years old, maybe a little bit older. It is just cranking, it's not starting. That's wind come through last night, knocked out power. You can hear maybe generators running all around me because it's pretty common in this neighborhood. But this just cranks and doesn't start, so I need to diagnose that. I have pulled the front cover off of here. Basically, there's a screw over here and over here and the cover just comes right off, set it over there. So, let's get in here, diagnose, see what's wrong. I'm gonna pull this air cleaner off here and we can at least check to see if we're getting fuel. It's not quite as easy as with gas because this is uh, natural gas, so it's obviously always gaseous, there's no liquid, but you can usually tell just by smell. So right here, I'll zoom in for you, but this is where the air goes in, and there's actually an orifice that comes from the gas valve. The gas valve and solenoid and regulator are all back in the back here. And it comes through, and it comes through a pipe that enters in the middle of this venturi. What I can do is I can put my finger in or over the top of this, and that will choke it. Basically what it'll do is it'll richen the mixture. So we're going to change the air-fuel ratio to see if that changes how it behaves. If it starts right up when I'm partially blocking it, that means it's running too lean. We can take a look that direction. While we're here, we'll also just smell for the gas smell to see if uh, fuel is coming in. Obviously, it doesn't tell us if it's uh, the correct pressure, but if we at least smell gas, we know that fuel is coming in and it's less likely to be back here. If I don't smell anything, then we need to do uh, some diagnosis and work backward to take a look at the regulator uh, and the solenoid to see if maybe it's not doing what it's supposed to and just fuel isn't getting to here. But while we're in here, the easiest thing to do is to start right here and take a look. So I can feel it pulling air in, but it's making zero difference when I uh, cover that up or whatever. So that is not changing anything and I can definitely smell gas so it's definitely getting some fuel again I don't know that it's getting the correct amount but usually these valves either they're working or they're not uh, my experience is that they don't typically go to like low pressure it's they're either giving you the fuel you need or they go bad and they quit giving you fuel again I definitely smell fuel so I'm less likely to believe that it's back here I think it's this direction. So now that we have that at least verified that it's less likely to be the cause, let's go over to the engine side and take a look at what we can find there. Next I'm going to pull the spark plug out. We'll take a look, see how it looks, and check for spark while we're in there. Well, I mean it's obviously used and a little bit old, but it doesn't look bad. Check for a spark. I'm just going to hook it back up on there, and then we need to ground this. And then we should be able to look right here for spark. And it's got good spark. While we have the plug out, we might as well do a compression check. So I'm going to thread this in, and we'll hook up the gauge. So I just put the adapter in here where the spark plug goes. Move that over the side, and we'll take our compression tester. And just hooks in here and then we'll just turn it on and uh, we'll watch the gauge while it tries to start well that's a serious problem I think we know why it's not starting let's reset it make sure everything's correct Yeah, that would definitely explain why it isn't starting. So it looks like uh, it's going to be a short video. I'm not going to show you the repair on this because low compression on this engine means that the springs are probably bad, which means this engine needs an overhaul. The work to do the re-ring is actually fairly straightforward on a small engine like this. The problem is it's attached to this and all of this, 
So getting it out is a lot of work. It's probably going to be at least a day of effort getting this thing apart and out just so that I can rebuild it. So that's definitely not happening today. I got plenty of other projects I need to work on. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.